Welcome back to the Getting Started series of Centerprise Data Integrator. In part 7 of this series, we are going to have a look at the workflow functionality of Centerprise. We are going to create a simple workflow and uh, see how you can orchestrate your jobs using workflow. A workflow is used to orchestrate your scenario. In this scenario, the one that is open on the screen, a user is downloading the data file from an FTP source and then using that file as a source inside the data flow. And once the data flow is run, user decides if there is uh, any error in the data flow, then uh, in that case it sends out an email to the person who is responsible for checking errors. Also, if the data flow did not start at all, the user is going to get a notification using the email. And uh, once the, and if uh, the data flow runs successfully, in that case, you go back and delete the file that came in. So for such kind of orchestration, the simple workflow is created. Now let's uh, examine it, it closely and uh, create it from scratch. To create a new workflow, you'll go to the file, new, and uh, open a new workflow. If you go to the toolbox, you can see here the workflow tasks. So you can pick uh, tasks such as uh, file system actions, the FTP task, the decision node. You can uh, run the data flows and run custom programs, send out emails, run workflow inside workflows. You can do such stuff. But as we discussed earlier, we're going to create a simple scenario where the user, user is downloading a file from FTP source. For that, my first node will be FTP task, a drag and drop. And this is my first step. I go to the properties and I can specify uh, my connection information for the FTP. I'm going to use one of the recently used connections. I, I can specify where to read the file from and where the where it is going to uh, put the file in the, uh, in the local location. I pick all that information and uh, this becomes my first step. Second step is to run a data flow. So in that case, I drag and drop a run data flow box and that becomes my next step. And uh, I join these two steps by this arrow and that means that this is the first step and the following step is this. And they're going to go in serial. You can do even parallel steps if you want to have another step that go and these two running in parallel. So you can have uh, multiple data flows running in parallel. But in this case, uh, since uh, we are doing a simple workflow, um, after, F after downloading file from FTP, the data flow starts and let's go ahead and have a look at the properties of data flow. You can see here it is asking for where my data flow resides. So I point it to a data flow. In this case, we're going to use the simple data flow that we created for sample one. If I point to it and open it and I go to the next page, you can see here it is showing me all the parameters and uh, all the file paths and destination connections used in, used in this data flow. And one of which is uh, Excel source. If I click on Excel source one, you can see it is pointing to the existing file loans.xls. But in this case, we are going to point to a file that was downloaded from FTP. And uh, the way it works in Centerprise is uh, you use the dollar notation uh, to use any of the properties of any of the boxes um, other than your current box and in this case since we are going to use the local file path from FTP task we do dollar FTP task 1 that is the name of the you can see here that is the name of the um, action here and then do dot processed local path and once we do this and save it what is going to happen is when the flow comes to next step it is going to go and you can see here uh, in the output uh, the FTP task has the process local path and remote path and all these properties and once the FTP runs and it gets the file it is uh, going to assign the process file path process local file path uh, to the newly created file that is downloaded from FTP and use that file path inside the data flow so that's how the second step is going to run so once you have run the second step um, if this step goes successfully, I want to do a check on uh, how how the errors are there. Uh, if there are, if there are uh, too many errors in data flow, I would like to notify uh, the owner of the job. Otherwise, I would like to go ahead and delete 
the file that is just downloaded uh, after the successful completion of the data flow. So in that case, let's go ahead and uh, create the next step decision and connect it with the data flow. So this is the next step. And if I go to the properties of the decision, you can see here I'm presented with the rules writing and I'll pick run records with errors and say if the records with errors are more than 1000 in that case I am not satisfied with this run and uh, in that case I would like to notify somebody that hey uh, there are too many errors in this data flow and you can see here there are two nodes yes and no so I'll be taking an email notification and putting it as a next step and that comes out from the decision yes so that means if uh, there are too many errors then use this send email and send an email to the person who is responsible so you can fill in all your information about sending out an email however if there were not too many errors and I would like to complete it and uh, go to the next step and in this in this next step I would like to delete the, the file that was just downloaded I will use uh, one of these uh, file system actions and that becomes my next step and I connect it to the no and if you go to the properties of file system actions you can see here it has uh, options about uh, copy move rename delete and all that I would, I would say delete the contents of this directory and uh, I will pick the directory where the local file path where uh, the FTP is downloading the local file path and that means whatever is download, downloaded in this directory remove it once it is successfully run so this is how we created the decision and uh, we sent it uh, to the this action depending on uh, if the data flow runs with success and if it has too many errors then we decided to send out an email however if the data flow failed to start in that case we can um, also send out an email and maybe we can use the same email in that case if you press alt and drag and drop this node you can see here there is a different colored line and that means this is the error line so if this data flow actually start actually uh, fail to start in that case it is going to go to this step directly and send out an email saying that hey the data flow failed to start so this is the example that I was showing in the beginning and this is how it looks like uh, after saving and after renaming the nodes so this is a simple workflow we set out to create where uh, the user starts with the downloading file from FTP source and runs a data flow using that file as source and depending on certain error scenarios sends out an email or does the cleanup. So this concludes this presentation. Thanks for watching this video.